Hi there, life path number two. This is Healing Hands Tarot. Welcome to your February 2020 uh, tarot reading for your life path number. Number two, you guys are all about um, duality. Two is a number of, you know, duality, a number of partnerships because it takes more than one person to form a partnership. So you're all about partnership. And remember when you have partnership there can be opposition because when you have two you don't know this person might want to do their own thing and that person might want to do their own thing and they need to constantly be in balance because you need to work in conjunction in partnership with somebody so you're gonna always have you know struggle the struggle of trying to balance the yin and the yang the you know positive with the negative and trying to live a harmonious life so that's gonna be like a constant challenge and in order for you to be able to effectively um balance that since that's all, all what you're about you're gonna need a great deal of diplomacy and you do have that ability as part of life path number two you're you know you're a very very good peacemaker you're a very good mediator all right you're all about balance and being fair and being equal and People with your life path number are all about love and, you know, partnership in love. But the challenge, it, it will be to tap into your emotional sensitivity and for you to use it to connect with people who are around you. So some of you might tend to be detached and, you know, needing to bring yourself back into connecting with the people around you and showing a little bit of emotion is what I'm picking up this month. We'll see what the card says. Um, but... Life path number two, you guys prefer a harmonious and peaceful living and you find it easy to collaborate and nurture relationships with others. You're sensitive of your feelings and of others. And then give you give importance to how people around you feel. At the same time, you can be a little inhibited. Um, you can be very affectionate and trustworthy whenever you utter words like I love you to someone. That someone should, you know, be, you know, in cloud nine. Because you really mean those words. You're highly appreciative of having companions and of having someone to love and share your days with. You're honest and a good listener and easier, you know, for you to see the good in people. And you feel grateful for the people in your life. So basically, you can be everybody's good friend or special partner. Perfect. So guys, let's dive right in. Um, the first card that we are pulling... bully wow okay it says it highlights your tendency to intimidate others help you confront the inner fears that bully you the shadow side says conceal deep fears behind verbal or physical abuse i hope nobody's going through any kind of abuse verbal emotional physical <coughs> mental or otherwise but Somebody is being called out on the way that they treat people. Remember, your life path number two is all about being sensitive and, you know, valuing the people around you and appreciating the people around you and treating them with fairness and um, seeing the good in them and being grateful for even having those people in your life. So if you're not treating people that way, you're probably coming across as, you know, um, bully in this sense of, you know, you needing to pay attention um, so that I can help you to confront those inner fears that bully you or the reason why you may be in that um, energy of, you know, um, that bullying energy. So this is a very interesting card. But it talks about ability for you to also be hiding behind, you know, um, what you're truly feeling. Maybe not showing your true feeling to people around you. Uh, completely blocking people out of your life or you know being cold or being detached and your life part is all about being um in partnership with people and you're detaching yourself so it's going against your life path and there's conflict and contradiction and it's clashing at the moment the next card says sisters of the seasons 
Sisters of the Seasons is number 17, which equal to a number 8. And 8 is a number of abundance, prosperity, financial well-being. 8 is also a number of material satisfaction. Number of authority, power, ambition, giving, receiving. But this card, it says cycles of growth, natural law divine order and talks about things happening in in divine timing and things ending and things you know um dying technically not anybody dying but relationships cycle ending and new type of relationship birthing either like a reunion with the person uh, you know but in a better way either that or maybe bringing something new but whatever it is it will be something that will be you know like in accordance to the divine, it's not in your hands. Your next card says choosing your path. So, and for you to believe that all is possible. So, some of you might be in contemplative mode right now about what path that you know you're supposed to take. Some of you may be thinking, what am I meant to do in this lifetime? What am I meant to accomplish? Who am I meant to be? What path am I supposed to carve out for myself? And for you to know that all is possible, whatever you choose to do. But people with your life path number, you like music and poetry. You have also inclination towards healing practices like massage, acupuncture, therapy, even counseling. And you will also most likely thrive in vocations and career path like, you know, diplomat, statesman, lawyer, a negotiator, arbitrator, mediator, secretary, statistician, booking or renting agent, insurance adjuster, correspondent, communications facilitator, post office worker, stenographer, telephone operator, marriage counselor, home product dealer, museum director, art collector, waiter or waitress, homemaker, and assistants in offices or in any other industries. Also, you would have great success in ventures that you know involve import and exportation of anything. But, you know, like it's saying that all is possible for you. Not to box yourself and restrict yourself. Whatever you choose to do, you put your mind to it. Partner with people because you're all about partnership. Next is Eight of Abundance. This is a time of learning and honoring and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school. Take seminars on topics that fascinate you. Or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. So in choosing your path here, you know, you're being asked to look at the fine prints, the details. In case some of you are deciding to go into your own businesses but whatever it is you're doing or you're deciding to change your job, maybe at this job you've sat down there for years and you, there's no longer room for growth and you're deciding to move on, right? Uh, for you to know all is possible. Whatever you put your mind to, um, I think you're being blessed with cycles of growth, okay? According to natural law, divine order. So my be timing is right for you to do that, for you to make that move. Next card says door to romance. So some of you, all this might have to do with, you know, like love affair. But remember, this is February is the month of love, um, which tells me that there's love in your environment in whatever form, shape or, you know, capacity. Um, or that, you know, somebody might be opening the door to their heart this, you know, this Valentine's period or this, this month. Or somebody might have your heart, you know, caged. In the sense that somebody has your heart. Somebody has captured your heart. And somebody's holding your heart. 
you there's somebody in your environment that you really truly do love you have very very deep feeling for that person that you feel helpless with the type of love that you have now this is number 33 which equal to a six and six is all about balance between earth and spirit it's about intuition it's about nurturing responsibility it's about love caring being protective of your heart you know you might be protective of your heart some of you might feel somebody's captured your heart it could be different things for different of you but there's something about you know opening the door to and this newfound love exciting butterflies is what i'm feeling in my stomach as i'm talking so there's a feeling around this that is really you know butterfly that you know there's somebody that you love really sincerely and maybe there's this month might require you to open up a little bit with your feelings um it's an overwhelming feeling but it's a very very beautiful feeling i like it mm. life part number two whoa all right this talks about receiving a gift all right I don't know so some of you might be receiving a gift or somebody received a gift you know this is valentine some of you might be receiving valentine gift um i'm sure some of chris this is like christmas tree but you know you're receiving a gift and this is number eight you know um 17 which is an equal to an eight which it talks about material satisfaction authority power ambition giving and receiving um it's a number of abundance and prosperity number eight and financial well-being so you might be receiving the gift of money i don't know maybe anything for any of you but some of you might be on the lookout for some valentine gift or you may feel that somebody in your life is a blessing to you because remember your life part is all about appreciating and when you don't appreciate you come up with that energy of being a, bu a bully because you're meant to appreciate people around you um and not intimidate them okay all right, so guys, I'm going to close this reading out with one Archangel Michael prayer card. And you have, forgive yourself, you've done nothing wrong. So if you want to say this prayer with me, I'm sure that might resonate for somebody. It might be a specific message. Um, all right, so let's say the prayer. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered and at peace. All right, life path number two. Thank you guys for joining me. Um, next time, next month, you all, we have a date here. Please tune in. Please check this channel. Click the like, share button, notification, so that you can get alerts whenever I upload new videos relating to your life path number. Um, so you're, you know, one of the first to see it. Anyway, thank you so much for all your support and for helping me build this channel. Until next month, this is Healing Hands. Bye.